What is up guys, Rick Hack is here, and I want to talk to you today about fusion rifles. Now, fusion rifles right now are not in a good place. I almost never see them in both PvP and especially in PvE. That's because these guns are simply underpowered right now. Now, it's funny to me that many people, including myself, have campaigned to buff auto rifles. Buff auto rifles is one of the most common things you hear when it comes to rebalancing the crucible. Yet when it comes to fusion rifles, arguably just as underused as auto rifles, you never hear a peep. And it's annoying to me because again, losing out on an entire gun class, something that, you know, just isn't competitive, is a huge downside of the game. Think about it this way, one third of all secondaries in the game, and I'm not counting the, you know, two sidearms that added, but one third of all secondaries in the game are not competitive. In both PvP and PvE, that is insane. That is a huge amount of content locked off because of improper balancing. And because of that, I really do want these guns to be improved on. I really think that it's important to have a variety both in PvP and in PvE and we're going to be talking about why exactly fusion rifles are not competitive right now and what can be done to fix them. Now let's start off with PvP and again you almost never ever see fusion rifles in PvP and one of the reasons is and I think one of the reasons why people haven't been campaigning for fusion rifles to be fixed is simply because you know one of the reasons fusion rifles aren't being used is because the shotguns are in a place that they are overpowered. Like, frankly, the heavy hitter shotguns like the Matador 64, the Fellwinter's Lie, they just snipe from way too far away. And it makes it so that, you know, the ranges that you're getting those insane Fellwinter kills used to be the ranges that fusion rifles were actually primed for. Those would be really good engagement distances for fusion rifles but now why would you use a charge up fusion rifle when you could use an insta kill insta shoot fell winter's lie wish a shot package right so that is one of the main reasons why fusion rifles have kind of fall out from usefulness is because of the insane shotguns and just how good the heavy hitter long range shotguns like the fell winter is and it doesn't help that the mechanics of the game like blink and slide make it so that closing the distance, closing the gap between you and another player is very easy. I went over this and I actually made a video about how shotguns are overpowered and I kind of went over this, but it's a huge factor that, you know, if I'm running a fusion rifle and I see an enemy and at that distance is prime for me, I, they are in a great fusion rifle engagement distance, but one blink or one slide closer to me and now suddenly they've completely closed the gap. Now, I am in their prime range if they're using one of the heavy hitter shotguns, like, for example, the Party Crasher Plus One. And again, that is why fusion rifles have really fallen out of usefulness in PvP. Another reason, again, sticking to PvP, is simply because, yet again, Bungie decided to give an unnecessary, arguably unnecessary, nerf to fusion rifles. They lowered their accuracy in the same patch where they completely neutered auto rifles, and this really didn't help. Again, this combines with what I just said about the insane shotguns, and, you know, that whole thing is still very relevant, and then you add on the fact that they also nerfed, you know, fusion rifles. I think that was a little bit unnecessary. The fusion rifles definitely could use an accuracy buff back to their, or close to back to their, pre-nerf state in order to properly compete with the shotguns. Now PvP is one thing, but I think it pales in comparison to just how awful and how like unusable fusion rifles are in PvE right now. The interesting thing was that Bungie actually buffed shotguns only for PvE by increasing their damage by double. So shotguns now do double the damage they once did. This was great and shotguns were being completely underused. 
you know, they were, at, I think the statistic was 1% of people were utilizing shotguns when doing PvE activities. Now Bungie then increased the damage and they've been utilized a lot more, especially when doing the new Prison of Elders activity. There's a lot of close range engagements in that and shotguns are very very useful and again they're at their most powerful state ever. Now the reason shotguns needed to be buffed was that enemies at higher levels killed you by breathing on you. Like you were so easily killed when you were fighting extremely high level enemies. It's hard to become a legend when you get killed with one melee. It's just kind of sad. Now, shotguns at the state they were, they didn't kill quick enough. You have to have an extremely high reward if you're going to take the risk of simply going near an enemy. Because again, when you're versing higher level enemies, they kill you just so fast. So you need a gun that can kill just as fast, that you can kill the enemy before they can even melee you. And that's what shotguns have now become. Like if you have the found verdict, you can take down a fallen captain extremely fast before he can ever hit you. Even like a reaver captain, you can down extremely, extremely fast. The same thing applies to fusion rifles. There's a risk reward. Now fusion rifles can engage enemies at farther ranges than shotguns, but it's by no means long range. And if you ever try using a fusion rifle against a more powerful enemy, like a fallen reaver captain, it is just sad how little damage it does. Again, it falls back to the risk reward philosophy. You are at a risk using a fusion rifle, you gotta get a little bit closer. The charge time is deadly and it allows enemies to close the gaps extremely fast. So you need to have a reward, aka you need to have massive damage when you actually get a proper shot off. And that massive damage simply isn't there. Just like the shotgun buff I talked about, Bungie needs to massively increase fusion rifle damage in order for them to be utilized again in PvE. Again, there's no reward, there's all risk, and you simply are not doing enough damage when you're versing harder enemies. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Why would he use a fusion rifle that takes a reaver uh, captain's, you know, health down by a tiny, tiny, minuscule amount, or I can shoot them with the found verdict and it just completely collapses their health and I've got five more rounds that I can shoot extremely fast. Like you've got to remember also that fusion rifles have charge times. They are not going to be able to get multiple quick succession follow up shots. So that initial shot needs to be doing a ton of damage. So in order to make fusion rifles able to be utilized effectively in PvE, Bungie needs to copy their previous shotgun buff and if not double the damage, then get really close to doubling fusion rifle damage. For PvE only. For PvP, they simply need to slightly undo the nerf they already did to the fusion rifle accuracy and hopefully that will help them become more competitive. On top of that, they really do need to rain down the shotguns parade and nerf them a little bit as well. And that will just naturally make fusion rifles more useful in PvP. Those are my thoughts, but what do you guys think? How do you think fusion rifles should be buffed in PvP and PvE? if at all. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Doing so will let you see Destiny content similar to this. My Twitch channel and Twitter are both linked in the description of this video. So check out my Twitter if you want to get in touch with me and check out my Twitch if you want to see my ramblings live. Again, I hope you enjoy and as always, have a good day.